I'm Helen and I'm going to tell you about my time at university. Um, so I've got some questions here um, from Uni Savvy to answer. I've just graduated last year from Manchester Metropolitan University, so MMU, and I was studying primary education um, with the three-year course. So I took a bit of a scenic route to get to Manchester Metropolitan University. So I did my A-levels at home in Belfast and then I applied to UCAS. I didn't know really what to do. So I applied to business, I applied to art college and I also applied to primary education. Um, and I remember when I got my A-level results, I decided I'll go to do business um, at University of Ulster. And halfway through the course, I was like, no, that's not for me. Um, I remember going to visit before I dropped out my friend in Manchester and she was doing primary education and she was having so much fun. And the, I remember going to visit the campus with her and I loved all the buildings. And I thought, oh yeah, this is a really good place to um, study. So I dropped out and I reapplied to UCAS and I decided I'll go to Manchester University. So I was already kind of interested in primary education. I'd done some placements on in school for work experience. And I also was a swimming coach. So I was quite interested in it anyway. Um, so that's why I decided to choose the course and um, also just from like feedback from like people who had been there before said like it was such a like a good course to do and it was fun and had loads of different types of lesson styles and um, I remember actually the day of my interview I like flew over and I actually I actually got my purse lost at Piccadilly station and I was stressed and I came to the interview and the interview went well and um, they usually do like a group interview so it was a bit easier and then they offered me a place so I was pretty happy um, going there. Um, so my course was quite a lot of work Um I was in five days a week Um I think it's changed now but you usually have to go in early mornings and then you'd finish about uh, four, three in the afternoon and you'd have a um, whole cohort lectures or little small groups and you'd have like times for lunch breaks, etc. Um, so you weren't in all day. Um, so it was quite heavy that way, um, but the workload was manageable, like they gave you loads of time for deadlines for assignments or if you're working as a group they give you loads of resources like rooms to work in and um time to complete your assignments so that was always really good um and the lecturers always tried to help you as best they can yes i love manchester um it was so busy and exciting and there's lots of different types of people to get to know and um, just generally it's a lovely city to live in I think for me. I love going out of Manchester it was totally different to back at home because the nightclubs were out later and um, there were so many different clubs or bars that you can go to so I think in first year I just went to the popular ones like along Deansky and then in second year started going to different places like uh, Northern Quarter is really good to go to. Um, so yeah, and there's loads of bars and pubs around where loads of the students live in Fallowfield, so that's always good. Um, and also with the nightlife every like Wednesday with our uni, the sports teams would all go out. So we'd meet in the student union and then you'd go out after and that was always a fun, messy night. First year was really fun, I loved it, um, 
I think at the start of the year, I was quite homesick. Um, it was my first time being away from home. So I remember coming over on the flight and my little brother came over and helped me with all my luggage and everything and helped me set up. And um, it was quite daunting at the start, but the people, everybody that I met was so nice and it helped me so much um, in my first year meeting people. I was actually pretty lazy and I didn't look at all my accommodation options when I first applied. I think I was going to Camp America that summer and I just rushed it. Um, so I ended up in accommodation with three other people, which was really good. Um, you got a little living room area to share and a kitchen and loads of cupboards to put your food and stuff and then your own room. So it was my first time having a double bed, so I was pretty happy but maybe I think maybe next or if I was like giving advice to someone with accommodation I'd say to our uni gives you loads of tours around the different accommodations and they have lots of different um sizes of accommodations so if you want a small or if you're living with loads more people I think I would live with more people if I was doing it again and they also do it online if you want to see any tours of the different accommodations um my accommodation was also really close to my um where i had my lectures and all my campus so it was only like a 10 minute walk max so that was really good so most of the accommodations are quite close to where your building is so probably my most favorite thing was uh just meeting people like sports joining the sports clubs um going to the free fitness classes that our university offer and going to like events like the Freshers Fair and things like that, that was always really fun. Um, my least favorite thing, maybe uh, managing money, managing assignments along with a part-time job and um, maybe, uh, although I didn't have a big problem with this but um, Sometimes when people were living with people like cleanliness of your student house was a big thing and um, living with different people is sometimes a struggle um, and uh, maybe I'd say yeah money generally and maybe for our university our library is a bit small you could sometimes never get a seat so that's probably one of my least favorite things about MMU. yeah there's loads there's quite um there's loads of sports clubs so i i played for a sports club for gaelic football for a bit and that was fun that was outside my uni um and i also had like part-time jobs for recruitment agencies so there's lots of those it's quite easy to get a job as a student and there's so much shops charity shops to get like a little bargain and um there's loads of parks, loads of things to do in Manchester, so it's pretty exciting. Um, you never really get bored. And maybe tell them to try and like join a club. Like for me, for my first experience at university at home, I feel like I didn't really involve myself in university life. So maybe I would recommend to like try to, if you, even if you're working, living at home during uni just to try and like make friends like get involved in students life a bit more that's one thing and then maybe just try not to stress like um stress over money over assignments like it doesn't really matter talk to friends and talk to other people and you'll get through <laughs> just know that So our uni is quite big with sports. Um, they're really good with netball and rugby and lacrosse. Um, and the coaches I think that manage those teams are really good. Um, there's also, they also help little clubs. So I was part of the Gaelic football club, which probably isn't there anymore, but um, they help the smaller clubs as well, our university. like. If you want to set up one or if you're managing a smaller one like they're really helpful and they give you good advice on managing it um 
And like, with equipment or anything that you need, they're good with that. I was terrible at managing money at the start and I'm still not great at it now but um, I try to keep like a small budget for food each week and like traveling so I knew our uni gave you like some deals for tr the bus tickets and I try to like not spend as much on like loads of clothes each month to try to go to like charity shops or like use depot those type of ways just to cut costs and then maybe like make meals with some of your housemates that's a good way of cutting costs and i also applied to the school's hardship fund um just sometimes because my student loan would all wouldn't always cover all my uh rent and expenses so i'd sometimes need to apply to that and that was pretty easy and they were really helpful my uni with that on the process and I know that some of my friends had got um, help with finance before like managing their budget so they're always good at helping with that they've got really good services um, like their well-being centre and their um, career centre as well is really good they have like jobs for students so you can be a tour guide for the open day or um, just help around uni events like those type of things so definitely get into that and find out information about um, budgeting with the uni because they are helpful um, and yeah overall I just had a really good experience with MMU um, and I feel like you have to put the effort in as well to make it a good experience because I feel like the first time I didn't um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed listening or got something out of my answers and my review of Manchester Metropolitan University and yeah, thank you for listening. <laughs> See ya.